That's right. Uh, yes, Oakland with the upset over Kentucky, and it sounded like this. This is it as Kentucky inbounds. They get it in. The throw to the front. Reeves, three-point jumper. No good. Golke down with the rebound. Maybe now they know where Oakland is. There are the history books. An 80-76 upset victory over Kentucky. So there it is. Westwood one on the call. Golke off the bench. Why is everybody talking about this guy? 32 points off the bench. You yeah. had 10 threes coming yeah. off the bench. Like, yeah, give me the ball. I'm hot. Give me the ball. Yeah, I'm hot. But he's also a guy in the regular season. If no. you do the deep dive, he took eight shots yeah. inside the arc. Yeah. yeah eight yeah, yeah. out of 335 yeah. field yeah. goal attempts. Yeah. How insane is that? Why shoot two when you can shoot three? Hey. Come on, man. That's the deal. Anytime I meet a kid who's a basketball player, oh, it's a big kid plays basketball. Hey, uh, you know, they know I'm a coach. You got any advice? I go, well, I don't coach basketball, but I'll tell you this. Hey, everything you do, it's either a dunk or a three. No mid-range jumpers, no running one-handers. It's either a dunk or a three. That's the way the game is going. And they look at me and nod their head like, yep, that's what it is. If you can't dunk it, shoot a three. If you can't shoot a three, got to dunk it. That's how it goes. He's from a town called Malice. Pilwaukee. 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 Not Milwaukee. P E W A U. Okay. K double E. It's in Waukesha County, a town of 15,914. Wow. And Oakland, not in Northern California, as you heard the play by play there, in Michigan. I actually drove by the Oakland campus a couple of years ago. That? We were visiting. Hey, it's the Oakland campus. And of course, I did my, and Oakland. It's like, like it, you know, it, it just, it's my head that Did way. you wave yeah, and say, Oakland. I had a best actor award no, doing, over yeah. in uh, this other town? I can come and Wagner College, class Wagner it College. up here. Uh, but look, the big takeaway from this game, look, we, this is the first big upset of the day. We've had some other thrilling games. So far, though, a fairly generic day. We saw some close games early, mm-hmm. but teams pulled away. We saw a couple of, of teams survive in advance. But this is the big upset. And in any story that develops, whether it's Shohei Otani or something else, there's always a moment in a story, whether it's a sports story, a news story, a political story, where something goes from a rumble to a roar. There's always that one moment where bing, it flips. And the, hey, is John Calipari really the answer now from this point on for Kentucky? It's gone from a dull roar now and a little and a rumble now to now it's a loud roar. Because this is now the second time they've been knocked out in the first round, right? They had, look, they had a great run. They got screwed by COVID. Obviously, that was one of their best teams. But since then, not been great. Going out in the first round, buyouts $32 million. That's nothing for schools nowadays. Now, I want to caution you and say, hey, you really think you're going to get better than John Calipari? But this is where what I say for, for Kentucky fans doesn't matter. They see blood. Kentucky fans are like Ohio State football fans. We got to get rid of Ryan Day. Well, why? Well, he can't beat Michigan. You realize his record is like 68 and 4. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It can't be. We got to get rid of him. You're going to have somebody else coming who's going to be better. You're going to have somebody coming who's going to be better. It's going to happen, right? But this is how they're thinking in Kentucky. Well, just and remember. This is, a, this is a big deal. This has gone from, hey, of course I wouldn't. I, I you, Look, you're not going to get any better than John Calipari. Who are you going to get better? Kentucky still is making the tournament every year. They're still a high seed every year they're still playing really well what do you who knows what happens when you wind up going outside there but in the eye of the storm this is awful and this takes john calipari status in kentucky again from a rumble going you know maybe calipari seen his day too he's got to go he's got to go he's got to go it's not in any form of 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 realistic it, there's no logic to it but i get the emotion and in sports emotion rules so yeah this has now become a thing for john calipari that title is a long time ago two losses in the first round as a 3 seed in the last 3 years uh yeah you mentioned the the covid season and year to year you're inside of of 10 losses in the regular season you recruit well you're always playing for, for big stakes, and the expectations are going to be through the roof. And he's one of the few remaining uh, vestiges of, of the college basketball world that we've known. right? Otherwise, a lot of new faces, a lot of guys bouncing around. You know, the, uh, the other example I'd go to the college football side of things was, I think, uh, we were the voices of reason when all of the our colleagues here and elsewhere were calling for Jim Harbaugh to be fired at Michigan. Right, Bo Schembechler. That was the mid seventies. Lloyd Carr, long time ago. 
Uh, and then you had a lot of mediocrity. So when suddenly you've got a guy winning nine, ten games a year and that's not enough, hold on. You need to pause uh, and reset. With Calipari, yeah, you're, you're going to see the big thought pieces that come out of this because, again, he's been one of the vocal figures as we talk about the expansion of the tournament. We talk about NIL and go all the way back. I mean, how often has he bragged about the billions of dollars in contract Kentucky players have signed in the NBA after his tutelage? You know, the, those two have to to meet with more success in the tournament, I think would be the answer for many of the boosters. Uh, but, yeah, certainly as you look around, where are you going and finding something better? That is always the cautionary tale when you want your coach fired. Go take a walk around the block, go have another bourbon, and then start getting ready for next One year. bourbon, one scotch, one beer. You can have, have all three tonight. Okay. That's right. All it right. is a Thursday night. And again, That's what you most want? Most folks were calling in tomorrow anyway. Okay. Win or, <laughs> win or loss, they were already calling in. You know, I like on my timeline, Dr. David Chow, who we have on all the time, a former doctor for the Chargers. Yep. And uh, we have Mommy too, talks about you know big injuries in NFL with us. He put out a tweet today that said, hey, last year my kid got sick on the first day of the NCAA tournament. I thought history would repeat itself this year, but he went to school. And then he puts a picture up and says, nope, midway through the morning, he's home sick. Yay. And he's sitting on the couch watching the NCAA tournament. That's good. Truancy. That's Truant cool. officers uh, showing up. But I mean, look at their last uh, several uh, regular seasons 23 and 9, 22 and 12, 12 and 6 in conference, 26 and 8, 14 and 4, uh, but another first round loss. Uh, 9 and 16, 25 and 6, 30 and 7. I mean, you, you got so many, you know, single digit loss seasons. And then the expectation just goes through the roof. Second round, regional final losses. But two of the last three year first round exits, yeah, you're going to start hearing the cacophony of voices on campus Mm -hmm. and certainly uh, in the area calling for his expulsion. But again, unless you've got that fresh face guy that's in the high school ranks there in Kentucky that you're just looking at going, he's the obvious heir apparent. Who are you finding that's better? No, I'm telling and more you, more consistent. I, I'm telling you, this Dan is one Monson. of those times where I say, "Hey, <laughs> you know, I always say it matters what we say, but in Kentucky, it doesn't. They don't see it right now. They, they no, oh, I, no, no, no. I got want blood. I want blood. I want Calipari out. He can. We can't win anymore. The game is passed to by. And I, whatever it is, ah, it's, I, I like can't, that. He can't figure things out anymore. Watch out. The guy went 10, <laughs> had 10 three-point shots. Yeah, I know. Hey, how 10 you, 20. How about you guard this guy coming off the bench averaging six points a game? How about you guard? Doesn't matter. Blood in your eye. Blood did you, in your didn't eye. Didn't you like the shrug, though? Don't you want the Yeah, you want ha- going into halftime. Yeah. Not even in the second half, just going to the halftime. Yeah, look at, the, look at the threes I'm making. Look what I got. Calipari out, Monson in. Oh, there you go. And there if you, you can't get Dan Monson, you get Roy Monson. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I think his bowling ball just sold. Did it really? Yeah, I think okay. they sold it at auction. I saw the whip, the Andy, Indiana Jones whip went for like five hundred grand. Yeah. Wow! How much did the Nene go for? Like the person? <laughs> no, he's watching me whip, whip. Watch me, Nene. I hate you. Watch well, me I thought whip. you meant the NBA player. No, Nene Hilario. No, <laughs> I think he made more than that. <laughs>